Hey everybody, this is teacher Rhea here coming at you from Flagstaff. And today I would like to share with you five of my favorite websites that I have used with students. All right. The very first one is pretty familiar um, to a lot of teachers and this is Epic Books for Kids Online. Um, I love Epic for a lot of reasons, but mainly because it helps my kiddo read um, and uh, you can uh, get the audio along with the book. So uh, multimodal, high quality reading experiences. Um, lots of content, lots of books to choose from here and uh, great for parents and teachers alike. Uh, the only con that I've got, really, it can take some time investigating, you know, what books that you need for your kids, but also the freebie version is a little limited. So if you uh, totally love Epic, might want to pay for that for um, a subscription to that one. My next one is, uh, this comes to you from American Society for Deaf Children. This is a huge video library that I've used with my deaf and hard of hearing students, um, particularly students who rely on ASL to communicate. Um, this is a very high quality site. And um, I really like that the ASL is accurate uh, and presented in a really wonderful way. The stories are in ABC order, so you can quickly find a story that's familiar, or you can also search by age group. Um, only con I've got with this one is that, again, it takes some time. You got to click around to see what your student might be interested in. This one is turtlediary.com. Uh, this is a ton of learning games. So they have lots and lots of fun learning games on here. Um, they have uh, been working to update this website since Adobe Flash Player is no longer supported. So that's the only downside, um, as well as this is like really heavily laden with ads if you're using the free version, but they have language arts games, math, science, and more. This is one of my absolute favorite sites that I use a lot. Uh, this is clarkness.com. And uh, this was this site was created by a man by the name of Clark Ness. Um, and all of these stories, there are well over a thousand stories that you can um, download and print out. So you can use them across various devices, um, your phone, your computer, your iPad, et cetera. Um, this has stories from pre-K all the way up to advanced levels of reading. They have stories in Spanish. You can edit stories, personalize stories, um, stories with adult sight words and more. Um, this, the only downside to this site right here is that there's no video or sound or moving pictures. This last one is funbrain.com. I discovered this uh, site this last year. I really like this one. It's um, a good free site for teachers and parents to use. And um, I like that they have a lot of audio uh, books that you can hear the story being read as well as the words are highlighted as they're being read. So I really appreciate that feature. Um, they also have math and some fun learning videos on here. Um, and again, the free version of this is uh, pretty, um, heavy on the ads um, and limited content if you have the free version. So if you end up falling in love with funbrain.com, probably well worth it to um, get the uh, subscription to that one. So thanks for checking out my five favorite websites for teachers and I hope you enjoyed it.